Welcome to Great Neighborhood Cooks. I'm your host, Rob Kircher. Each week, I'm going to be knocking on the doors of amazing cooks who live down the street or around the corner. Who knows, maybe from your own neighborhood. For the most part, they're unsung cooks known mainly to their family and friends. Or they might be cooks from that great little hideaway restaurant that we love to discover. Either way, their relative obscurity is about to change as I bring them into the spotlight. So who will be the next discovered Great Neighborhood Cook? Well, stay tuned to find out. Who will be the next great neighborhood cook? Well, I'm here in Bonita Springs, Florida. I'm going to catch up with a guy who is a hunter and prepares a lot of wild game. And by the way, he's also a great cook and a baker. So let's go in and, and meet Ed. Hey, Ed. How Hi, are you? Rob. Pretty good. Come on in. Thank you. Love yeah. your home. This is fantastic. Well, so thank um, you. you're a hunter, right? Right. And you do a lot of uh, preparation of game, all right? And uh, do you do uh, deer and, you know, kind of... Uh, well, not, I used to, but um, we, we, I quit hunting deer um, probably 15 years ago when we moved down here to Florida. Oh, okay. So, so you, you uh, hunt primarily what, duck? Duck and pheasant. And duck hunting. and pheasant. Yeah. And what are, what are we going to be doing today? Well, I'm going to fix some duck breast. I got, um, I've been soaking some in teriyaki sauce. And, um, now, Ed, what kind of duck is this? This here is a canvas back. And, a, and I got a canvas back and a mallard in here. Oh, okay. And the canvas back you, uh, you hunted in where? It, this come out of um, Canada. The canvas back came from Canada? Okay. Yeah, and the mallard come from Nebraska. Oh, Nebraska. Oh, yeah. okay. Great. Ainsworth, Nebraska. I have, there's a rancher that lets me hunt there. It's right in the flyway. Oh. So there's a lot of ducks and geese come through there. Who sh I take their grandsons out there hunting quite a bit. So oh, that's fantastic. Been doing why that why is the meat uh, so dark on a duck? Well, the it's a dark meat. The whole duck is dark meat. It's not like a tame duck. It, the wild duck is, is dark, dark meat. I've been soaking some in teriyaki sauce, some um, poppers. I'm gonna make some poppers with some um, jalapeno pepper and roll them up and put a toothpick in them. Well, that's fantastic. Put them on the grill for a little bit so we got something to snack on while we're fixing dinner. I like that. I like that a lot. So Ed, now you're going to be preparing the stuffing, right? Right. I got breadcrumbs and I put little the oranges in to kind of tone the taste the duck down a little bit. Yeah. And um, it comes out pretty good that way. And it's, this is the stuffing for a roasted duck. For a roasted be, duck, yeah. Which you'll be doing next. Okay. doing next, yeah. Well, let's so, see how you do this. Okay, well, I take a... Throw it all in, huh? Yeah, throw it all in there. <laughs> yeah. All and right. And then I take the, the... Now, this is what's interesting to me. The orange... I've never seen this done before. That, that in there. One egg. A cup of hot water. Okay. I got the butter melted. Okay. Pour so I that just on. pour that in. Oh, and then use a little bit of. Uh, uh, use a little bit of Mrs. Dash. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oops. <laughs> there you go. Usually I use a teaspoon. But then I just um, smash yeah, it. Your hands. Yeah, exactly. I just smash yeah. it all up here. Yeah. Best way to do it. So what's the next thing? Okay, next thing I, I prepare my duck. Now, this is, uh, I find very interesting. Uh, you have to tell the, the folks about uh, uh, the fact that you have to leave one of the wings on with yep. the feathers on. Um, so when you go through customs, they can actually recognize it as a certain type of duck. Yeah. And they this, do that by looking at the wing and the feathers, right? Yeah, the, the wing. And also, I um, have a, a tag in there that said um, okay. what kind of duck it was. But this is a... Uh, That's the actual wing. This is the actual wing, and I just take my knife here. Right there. Oh, so you just cut right just, up the back of the duck, huh? Just open it up. Wow. See? Right and then I rinse this blood and stuff out of it. 
And I put the breast down. Uh, okay. Then I just take and put the dressing in it. Oh. Look at that. Oh. Now you don't sew this up. No, uh -uh. no, I leave it open leave because it like the dressing that, huh? will swell up too. Okay. Yeah. And then, then the juice out and the butter and the, the water and the juice out of the duck will kind of form around there and do that. Wow. So. Okay, so should we put the cover in it? Yep, cover on it. All right, let's put it in the oven. Set my oven on 300 degrees. Start. Also have some baked beans going on in there, as you can see. So, Ed, you're going to be uh, having a little Pinot Grigio here, right, for mm -hmm. our poppers? Yeah. Well, that should be terrific. Well, let's toast to that yeah. and to your wonderful poppers here. I want to dive in and try one of these things. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. That's a good one. Well, this is my first uh, duck popper with jalapeno pepper. Wow. Good, isn't it? Good Very pepper. good. Well, Ed, I got to tell you something that was fantastic. I love the jalapeno in there, and the wild duck is really strong, which I also appreciate. Yeah. So, we're going to come back up to the break, and we're going to be doing some more things with Ed, and he's going to have some additional surprises that you're going to absolutely love. So, stay tuned. So, folks, we're back from our break, and we're back with Ed. And Ed, you're going to be doing another dish right now, right? And this is a, a different kind of a duck. This is a mallard yeah, duck, this right? This is a mallard duck that was shot in Nebraska, Italian dressing overnight. So we'll um, take it and put it on the grill. So this is going to be a sliced duck breast, right? It's, yeah, it's just duck breast. Okay, cool. Well, let's do that. That's wonderful. Okay. This is our second course. Okay, Ed, now you're going to put these on the grill, right? Yes, I'm going to um, I just put a little bit of spam on there, put these on. Wow. And it doesn't take long again, it's just no, uh, maybe uh -oh. about 10 minutes, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Wow. Now, do you do anything else to this? Yeah, I put a little fajita seasoning on there. Oh, okay. Look at that. Did I have? Wow. So, Ed, the mallard duck breasts are now grilled and they're ready. They're medium rare, right? Right. Okay, so what's the next thing? You're going to slice them up? Yep, slice them up. Wow, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Now, you're going to plate these, and uh, what do you want to have with a side dish? We have um, baked beans. Oh, baked beans. Wonderful. Yeah. Well, that should go perfectly well, huh? Mm-hmm. So, you're going to be very popular with your friends and neighbors. Uh, I'm sure they all want to have some of this uh, duck. My wife belongs to the wine and dine. Okay. Okay, so Ed, now we're going to try your wonderful baked beans here. They look mm -hmm. fantastic. So is this another recipe that you came up with on your own? Well, it's, it's kind of, yeah. But Let me help you here. It's, they smell wonderful. Okay. okay, well, you know what, why don't we uh, we'll have a, let's we'll dive into that and uh, well, I'm going to definitely try the duck here, that looks so good. A couple of spoons for that. And your baked beans, mmm. Are you ready? Three, let's try this. Wow, that's very different. Mm -hmm. it is, it is different from what we had before. Recognizably different from yeah. uh, the canvas back. A little bit stronger the taste mallet. now. Yeah. Okay. So add, uh, the ducks are plated, right? Right. Ducks, I usually put the whole duck on and let them kind of cut it up however they oh, want. Yeah. Looks so, like fun, yeah. And then we'll, I'll give a little dish of um, the carrots and the rice and then a little bit of dressing. And Great. Um, we'll dig well, let's, in. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, 
I'll help you here. And the dressing. Wow. Thank you. You're welcome. And let's make a little toast here to this other wonderful dish that you just prepared. Here's to you. And I can't wait to dive in here. It's going to be fantastic, I'm sure. <laughs> Hope so. Mm, that's good Chardonnay. Okay, so we just kind of cut our own duck, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Right, let's try that. And you can just start right here at the the breast, okay. slice right down there. That would do the same thing on three, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Wow. Again, it's got a different flavor. That's the duck flavor there. That is the duck flavor. Yeah. That that's, is that's, incredible. That's, that's incredible. Uh, there's no, no disguise in the duck here. Wow. Well, and I gotta tell you something. So I want to thank you again for allowing us into your wonderful home and for sharing these incredible duck dishes. So folks, to learn more about Ed and to download his recipes, and also we have some behind-the-scenes shots you can take a look at it, why don't you go to our website, which is www.greatneighborhoodcooks.com, and you're going to have all these wonderful things at your disposal. Wonderful. I'll tell you what, let's dive into a little more of this, okay? And we'll be back. Okay. Thank you.